Welcome to F12 MGD News Updates. Greetings and peace, dear people of God. Election budget, bonuses for no productivity, free spending again, suddenly raining money from no money, halal lives, halal lanes, is money halal or non-halal? Malaysians are awed by the daily absurdities and the lack of common sense and ingenuity. Many say, tak masuk akal. Self-serving times. Who does the budget favour? Again, the nation's leaders have failed the people. A budget that favours the elite, the cronies and contractors. Ringgit 90 billion budget. Allocations for welfare, sports and poverty eradication is slashed. Self-serving politicians and leaders. The elites have become greedy, uncaring and insensitive to the Rakyat's cry. Years ago, an anthropologist, Margaret Mead, was asked by a student what she considered to be the first sign of civilization in a culture. The student expected Mead to talk about fish hooks or clay pots or grinding stones. But no, Mead said that the first sign of civil civilization in an ancient culture was a femur, a thigh bone, that had been broken and then healed. Mead explained that in the animal kingdom, if you break your leg, you die. You cannot run from danger, get to the river for a drink or hunt for food. You are meat for prowling beast. No animal survives a broken leg long enough for the bone to heal. A broken femur that has healed is evidence that someone has taken time to stay with the one who fell and has bound up the wounds, has carried the person to safety and has, atten has tended the person through recovery. Mead said, helping someone else through difficulty is where civilization starts. We are at our best when we serve others. Are we becoming uncivilized? A thought for the week. While traveling in Kenya, the college student met a refugee from Zimbabwe. The refugee said that he hadn't eaten anything in over three days. He looked extremely thin and unhealthy. The companion of the college student offered him the rest of the sandwich he was eating. The first thing the refugee, the refugee said was, we can share it. The poor do surprise us. They share, they care, they know hunger, thirst and deprivation. They are hardly indifferent. Announcements for this week. One, on the 23rd October 2022, the Church celebrates World Mission Sunday with the theme, You Shall Be My Witnesses. The Pope's message to us is that every Christian is a witness to Christ in daily life, in a communitarian way, sent to the ends of the earth and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Two, the season of creation continues. Behold the wonders of the creation and its creator. View the videos available on YouTube. Three, coming October the 24th, the church wishes all Hindu friends a blessed Deepavali. May this festival of lights give you the grace and happiness to enkindle 
besides yours, the lives of everyone in your families, communities, and in the larger society. Four, elections are to be held within 60 days. Organize how to vote sessions live and online. Young people, your vote counts. Q and Q, Q ask, what must I do to follow my dreams? Some thoughts from Paulo Coelho. One, is the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life interesting. Two, there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. Three, no heart has ever suffered when it goes in search of its dreams because every second of the search is a second's encounter with God and with eternity. Four, whenever you want to achieve something, keep your eyes open, concentrate and make sure you know exactly what it is you want. No one can hit their target with your eyes closed. Five, we must never stop dreaming. Dreams provide nourishment for the soul, just as a meal does for the body. And finally, six, and when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. Happy are those who dream dreams and pay the price to make them come true, says Cardinal Leon Joseph Swinens. Have a great weekend. May the week ahead be filled with the Lord's blessing. Take care. Be safe.